We are currently at the sea and we have received a special assignment. BDU has requested us to create a tour and brief tutorial film for our cadets at the homeland. Boat torpedo room. We have four torpedo tubes and we can start up to eight torpedoes in this room. Normally they are stored under the beds and when when we need to load them we we flap the beds up and therefore use this uh, reel system with hoists to yeah to slip them inside the tubes so as you see now he is unloading a torpedo because he will warm it up and the beds is, are raised up to make space for the reel system it's up and now he can listen and inspect the torpedo preheating torpedoes uh, limits the risk of, of duds which is very common uh, on early torpedoes especially the T1 so before an attack make sure your torpedoes are preheated which will indicate uh, in red like this so here we see that uh, one torpedo, the T2, is black, which isn't preheated, and the red ones are. So it says preheating removes the chances of a dot torpedo. Moving forward, we have the officer mess, which is with six bunks, two here, two here, and two here. Officers and petty officers share these bunks together, just like uh, the normal crew, normal sailors, they work on uh, three shifts. So, you know, you will need to share your bed with two other men. Whenever you go to bed, you always have a warm bed. That's one thing, that's for sure. There are just not enough men for the 44 to 52 men uh, that could be possibly on board on, on this, this boat. Uh, in the game, not the whole crew is modeled. There is like around 20, 20 people uh, moving on your uh, boat. This is the dining place. The officers with the captain uh, eat their meals here and uh, eventually discuss uh, important matters. But actually the most, most important matters are uh, are done here in the command uh, post but that we will get later this is more of entertaining and relaxing place I forgot here in the officer mess they have their own private toilet Let's see if we switch something off control room so now we can switch off the lights here. and the light in the toilet is here switched off so the officers have their own toilet and uh, you will see the crew has their own. Here we have the hydrophone. We can uh, listen to contacts. So it it works, you know, manually, or we can assign officer to do the work for us. Raise the volume. The frequencies we cannot change, but. And normally we can turn the periscope, uh, turn the hydrophone left and right to here for uh, contact. We can hear uh, the propellers. See, here we can hear something, but that's our own. The back we can't hear anything because that's our own uh, engines that we hear and own uh, propellers. With shift we can do this a bit faster, so with A and, and D we can go uh, uh, left and right, and with shift we can do it quicker. So we are hearing ourselves here. Erkaloi. So. Kapitän. Erkaloi. There are some other devices that we don't use 
here we can't use in the, in the game. The uh, radio officer, radio room, he's uh, listening for radio frequencies, uh, communication between the ships uh, and also uh, messengers to us. He can play also the gramophone, which is very cool. Uh, later on we can add more modules like uh, radar and a radio uh, radar wave listener so we can detect uh, warships from a far uh, further distance this is uh, the uh, captain's place he uh, normally this should be yeah, here is the curtain but I've seen on different ships that the curtain can go all around so you can have like this whole room you know for yourself we can look inside here is his uh, journal we're not going to read that unfortunately we cannot store uh, things to uh, captain's storage but we have a storage here we have a cabinet here which can store uh, special things like a breathing apparatus, combat helmet, uh, some coffee, but uh, we also can carry uh, weapons if we need to. So let's uh, move to the yeah, command department. These uh, doors we can close and each of the doors can uh, can hold up to a certain amount of uh, atmospheres uh, fluid pressure so in case one section of the boat gets flooded we can close it and then we are uh, yeah safe here for the time being that we can uh, uh, surface and repair the ship so this is the the, the, the nerve center of, of the boat and the most crucial uh, decisions are taken here however on my boat often I'm spending time uh, indeed on, on, on the map and uh, up uh, upstairs uh, looking for uh, smokes and uh, whatever uh, depth uh, steer station so this is being used while submerged two crewmen are uh, keeping the ship in balanced Val valves to uh, empty and flood the the tanks this is for diving important uh, the speed indicator so we can uh, request a speed to the engine room and uh, we get that speed back from them uh, rudder control and uh, depth, me depth meter uh, which is up to 25 meters and this one goes to 260 uh, 265 is um, like marked between 100 to 165 is like you know the, the safe uh, you know it's still safe there uh, deeper becomes more uh, tricky so uh, theoretically you could dive up to 295 meters uh, any deeper would probably crush your uh, or probably for sure will crush your uh, submarine but uh, you may be crushed uh, sooner so this is something uh, you have to you know find out yourself but you know when you know what your crush depth then you're too late then you know you can't make the call back home at which depth you died uh, navigation very important uh, you know it's saying we are on the open sea and navigator didn't update our position for a while we may become lost so if this station isn't operated for a while you may get lost on sea, meaning your position may be inaccurate. So uh, sending your officer here and doing the recalculation will, uh, will put you back on track. We have here the gyroscope, uh, which is uh, no necessary for the compasses on board. Uh, it's saying Giro Compass is operational and all compasses on board point north. This information decreases our chance to get lost by 60%. It's generating sound, so whenever you're in silent running mode, don't want to be heard from above, from above you have to turn it off. 
Belgium, uh, the ship is taking water. So Belgium, we have uh, 1.7 cubic meter of water. It has impact on our buoyancy, which is just 1%. So when that gets too much, we go to the pump and we can turn it on and then it will pump all the water. However, water in this compartment can't be pumped out we will have to uh, use buckets and put bring the water to here and only from here we can pump out the water we have here the echo sounder so we can send a ping sound to the bottom and like that we can measure uh, the clearance between us and the seabed here we have the light switch. We have uh, three light modes, uh, which is normal light, white, blue, which is good for silent running. So it has a bonus that your crew is using less oxygen. And therefore, uh, you know, the quality of, of the oxygen uh, stays longer good. Uh, red light for attack and eventually during uh, the night. But we just keep the light uh, mostly white. Let's uh, before that we can take a look. This is uh, blue light, and uh, this is how is red. Uh, uh, this is red light. Yeah. So we have here the red light. Here are uh, more devices necessary for, uh, which are compressors, air compressors indeed. We have here um, the meat stored, yeah, all over the, the, the sub food is stored because there isn't really uh, a an, an refrigerator it's observation over. periscope. But it's not really, uh, yeah, it's bit difficult to look through this. I, I barely use this thing myself, so... Okay, before we move further, we go upstairs to the conning tower. Open and... Climb up. And uh, here we find another periscope, which is the attack periscope. And other gorges that in indicate our depth, speed, direction, of course, uh, which you know a lot of decisions are made made from here during the attack. The torpedo calculation computer, and here we go to upstairs to. to the up of the conning tower and we can uh, look outside yeah, it's dark for the moment so uh, yeah we have here an uzo so it is called the targeting site or uh, uzo we can uh, it's like a you know it, it's just like a periscope but uh, on, on 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 top of the conning tower from here we can also make uh, targeting decisions and uh, spot uh, targets we have a deck gun at in the front and uh, and a flag gun against airplanes which normally whenever i see uh, an airplane i dive you know it, 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 I don't take any risks with with airplanes. Masks, must we can hide the flag, unfold the flag. We have also a searchlight, so we can look what is in front of us. But it's revealing our position. Then, uh, then, 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 then. But whatever it shows us, you know, the distance, uh, the range of what we can see is lower than the range of we can be uh, spotted. Uh, at so if we go here down we can uh, access the flag or the flag gun the not the flag gun is upstairs we can uh, man the deck gun eight, uh, 88 millimeter gun which is very effective against ship hulls but uh, it's just very difficult to uh, to point the thing because the, the water it, it's, it's never uh, stable so it takes a lot of practice uh, 
to shoot targets. So, uh, there are some antennas here, uh, radio, uh, periscopes come out here. Yeah, most of the time, uh, you know, the, the deck crew is, is spending here time, climb down. Okay, we have seen, uh, we have seen this. Then we go to the crew mess. So there are eight beds. There is a table, or two tables that can be uh, fold out so they can eat, play cards. Um, again, there is not enough place, so these guys need to share their bunks with other guys. Here is a little bit more privacy, you know, than instead, like unlike in in the torpedo room, they don't have curtains. So you know, here you can uh, hide yourself. Here behind are uh, cabinets, so each sailor has a private cabinet. He can store his personal belongings in in upstairs. And, and yeah, there are also upstairs, but mostly it is just this this one. It's a one of each each sailor has one cabinet like this with with a lock. Yeah. So this is perhaps the most important uh, place on board, which is the galley, the cook, the man that you know keeps us alive and keeps us happy. Uh, our stomachs especially, you know, depend on him. He makes food here. He's boiling now, I think, uh, gurkhan soup, which is com com uh, com uh, cucumber soup, and uh, something else. So, he has a good life. Well, I would like to be a cook on board the ship. Bananas. Uh, again, there is a toilet and a storage room, you know, meat, food all over the place. So let's uh, take a look inside the storage. We can store up to eight ton. We have some spare parts, uh, medic uh, kit. Um, yeah, we have some veggies, potatoes. Potatoes the, the crew doesn't really like. So when you give more exotic stuff like vegetables, fruits, meat, you know that that gives you a bonus this usually decreases the the discipline on on on, on board so we have in galley there is bacon preserved uh, pork sounds good for the ventilation normally you should have potassium plates but we don't have there is a toilet let's get inside it's it's very cramped normally and that was funny on on uh, the movie does boat he said that there is only one toilet because the other toilet they use for storage so you know you need to eat before you can shit and uh, this is not modeled uh, here in this game which you know could have been uh, very very funny if you know you could use your uh, your toilet as extra storage you know i think it should be you know should have been more food added to this whole place and you know. here this is important evacuation hatch so uh you know uh, in case of we can escape here the u-boat and here is the heart of the boat the two diesel engines now i will not go into details that much but uh, i can tell you that they can uh, you know can give us a speed up to 18 knots and in, in better conditions and I mean uh, if you assign two officer uh, two sailors to your officer this will uh, improve the efficiency and the speed of the engine so uh, because we have additional sailors the engines use 30% less fuel and they also generate uh, give us a, f a quicker uh, speed so you see two sailors uh, all gears are unlocked fuel usage drops by 30 percent uh, yeah if your officer does not man uh, if he doesn't man the, the station you cannot get all the speed so now for example with the officer assigned to the engine we can have Grosse Fahrt und Auskraft so which are you know f four and five which you know gives really uh, more speed uh, even this can give you even up to 
18 and 19 and knots. Uh, we use the diesel engines as well to they they charge the batteries and uh, from there you know all the electric devices like uh, electricity and other uh, small engines for the periscope uh, you know are being uh, propelled it's very noisy here and it probably stinks here we have two electric engines which is the after yeah, after um, engine room two electric engines uh, they can give us a speed um, up to they can give us a speed up to uh, 7.6 knots that is at uh, full uh, speed but that also uh, drains the batteries very quick so uh, best is for a slow uh, speed runs and ideally would be for a slice fart which is you know uh, silent running also inside the engine room we have a small place here for our officer to work we can do some repairs and make uh, no notes but here we have also the ventilator or better said air purification system which can extend the quality of air however the effectiveness of this system is reduced over time but with potassium plates which we don't have on board we can improve its effectiveness but the ventilator generates noise it's around 96 decibels so during silent running I strongly recommend you to turn it off so we can turn it on ventilation is going to be effective on the percent the longer we reuse the same air the more ventilation effectiveness will decrease so, but you know you can um, from the from the storage room you know we could add potassium plates to this device and that will uh, improve the effectiveness for a while here we are in the uh, in the after uh, engine room we have two electric engines and currently at the moment it's nice to see our uh, torpedo guy is uh, preheating the after torpedo we have only one torpedo tube in the stern and uh, there is place for one extra torpedo which normally lays like here on the ground uh, or yeah we have besides the electric engines which uh, can give us a speed up to 7.6 uh, knots but they are draining the batteries very quick so it is better just to go slow on them and we have a diesel and uh, electric compressor which is necessary uh, which is necessary for uh, you know uh, refilling uh, the air tank so whenever we go uh, you know whenever we submerge and uh, we want to surface or we need to blow the air out of the ballast ballast tanks and uh, to you know regain that air, we need to switch on uh, the compressor the electric compressor or the diesel compressor to refill the tank so whenever we submerge again we are fully filled up it's very important it's something every time i go on surface immediately i send an officer to uh, you know to the electric or actually to the diesel compressor to recharge the tanks torpedo launcher so here we had uh, selfaging replacement parts don't have any scrap metal in our so it's the workshop so uh, scrap metal we can change that into spare parts yeah that's it this is it this is the type 7 c submarine we took a quick look i hope this helps you a bit and yeah well good hunting see you at the sea